Next section. Williams writes, despite the progress we made since our nation's foundings, there is more work ahead as you like knock down barriers that like stand in the way of women and girls like realizing their full potential. In a country funded like by freedom and equality, and I don't think this country is funded by freedom and equality, but never mind. Okay. Because this country was like founded to like an uh by enslaved black men and black people and like also for in the, in the genocide of indigenous people blah blah um nothing is more fundamental no one uh, the country liked to believe this founded by freedom and equality but it wasn't it wasn't an equal at the time when it was founded and like i don't think it was like founded on freedom it's only founded on freedom from rich people from like monarchy and that's it continue on no one should be like discriminating against uh, based on their sex. We as a nation must affirm uh, and protect uh, women's uh, full equality. The Democrats would like to make the, like the Equal Rights Amendment the law and win. Uh, yeah, there's so the thing is like with constitutional amendments, in order to get the constitutional amendments like actually go through, it has to be like ratified by three four by three fourths of the state. So thirty eight states. If they have their own constitutional amendments and ratified, I think a lot of states have already have it ratified. But then, like after it's get ratified through three fourth states, and the, the thing is also be ratified by like two thirds of Congress as well too. Then there has to be a constitutional amend, um, uh, constitution, um, thing. As, I have to like research this as well too. But it's like really, 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 really hard to change the con uh, the constitution as well too. Because you have to get like three fourths of like the country to agree to it. Or three fourths of the like political elite to agree to it as well too. And with the divisions we have between the duopoly, again, it's saying it's a duopoly. It's true. Uh, but the, even within the, the, the divisions between the duopoly, there's a lot that has not, not been done. Like the Equal Rights Amendment. So continue on. When women thrive in the workplace, our economy is strong. Under imprison, oh, I, I mean, there maybe we'll they will talk about non-binary people like later on in like the LGBTQIA plus like uh, section. But right now we're talking about women. So, okay. So, continue on. Under President Biden's, like, leadership, more women are in the like, workplace than ever, have seen the lowest uh, annual, like, uh, women's unemployment rate since, like, 1953, and with the narrowest, like, gender pay gap on record. Democrats passed and presidents signed the Pregnant Workers, like, a uh, Fairness uh, Act to protect women's rights on the job. So, at least they say pregnant workers. So, here, they use the general news return for pregnant workers. So, just people who are pregnant. Even though they will say this is to like, protect women's rights on the job as well, too, there are just more there are people that like uh, can uh, give birth, not just like women. The uh, vast majority of people to give birth are cis women as well, too. But let's like, acknowledge that non binary people, including my sibling in law, gives birth, and there are trans men that give birth, too. But blah, whatever. Uh, so, uh, protect, so protect is so a pregnant workers fairness act to protect women's rights on the job, ensuring that like uh, pregnant and uh, postmortem workers have the basic. Uh, see, even like uh, here they say the, like uh, pregnant and postmortem workers. So continue on have the basic and long overdue protection they need to stay in the workplace while pregnant as like new mothers. Well, they say, let's say that new mothers instead of like new parents, but blah, blah whatever. I'm 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 not saying that this is like the worst thing ever, the worst crime ever that they're using gendered language when I like, talk about this sort of thing. This is in section in women's rights though, so I guess it has to be like focused on women and for now in this section than anything else. Continue on. Democrats have to like pass the Pump Act. So more nursing mothers have access to like a break time and a private place to like pump. Uh, to promote pay equality and curb pay discrimination, the administration has ended the use of salary history in like a pay settings decisions for federal workers and will expand this protection to more contractors. As the president's like economy agenda has created millions of jobs, he is uh, making sure that like women benefit including through the his like million women in like construction initiative registered like apprenticeship programs and like good job initiatives he has also expanded opportunities for like women entrepreneurs including sba loans to like women owned bin businesses by 70 percent and awarding more federal contract dollars to like women owned small businesses than ever it's the kind of the part of like liberalism or like liberalism is not going to like a uh, challenge or like a uh, question of capitalism at all because like liberals and benefit liberals benefit the capitalism and, and can assume the capitalism is a given. So this is kind of like more more women CEOs and just like before when talking about like uh, protection or protecting communities. It was all about hire more women guards. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, again, she's like a, a woman boss and a woman DEA and women prosecutor as well, too. 
So she's uh, very MMO about like hire more women guards. I guess they're talking about women's rights, so I have to like um, uh, word it like that. But anyway, continue on. And because affordable child care is critical to expanding opportunities for parents, especially women. Well, let's say you say parents and especially women. Um, continue on. President Biden helped hundreds and thousands of like, child care providers to keep the door open to millions of children and save families thousands of dollars on child care costs. Because there are, believe it or not, there's also quite a bit of the like, single fathers that can also benefit from this. So it's the system too, a child care providers and that sort of thing too. Because they also have to like raise children too, you know, and be like um, have to be in charge as well too. Because like even though it's like probably is like of like the uh, deadbeat parents sort of thing too, it's probably more or less deadbeat dads than like deadbeat moms. But it can be like either parent to be like a deadbeat maybe person as well too. I don't. I kind of that, that's gonna be an open question to like have on such as actually in other places of what to do about deadbeat parents in general. Because I think that's more of like a cultural problem than uh, just uh, it's like a I don't know what laws that pass and like ensure that like no such thing as deadbeat parents I kind of accepted that like some people don't want to have kids and don't want to raise kids and it'll be unfortunate if they happen to father kids as well too but like my idea again UBI on universal unconditional basic income on universal basic income is not like a end goal of itself but it's something that will benefit all people and I don't have a problem if, like, it also benefits that be parents. Um, okay, yeah. And continue on at this part. Uh, the president has also signed into law new protections to support the survivors of uh, and address sexual assault and sexual harassment in the workplace. Oh, while President Biden has worked to support women in the workplace, Trump has weakened protections for them. He moved to like block a Obama era rule that would require companies to like uh, pay to restore report pay by race and gender, an important tool to fight they pay for to pay provide for pay equity. Also limit the uh, salary threshold increase under which salary workers were eligible for overtime, leaving billions of mi- leaving millions of workers who would have benefited on the enrichment rule. Yeah, so I do know, um, like the video game industry, some of the, the several positions are salary. And I was working with like a work in Washington to try to like reverse this in Washington State, where it's like even salary workers, uh, they, after a certain point with like clock in hours and something that have to be paid over time. But most like salary workers are not paid overtime, and so even even my older sibling and others who like work in the video game industry, they were working twelve hour days, but not getting like but being paid the same regardless of how many hours they work, but they're eight hours, twelve hours. So yeah, this loophole where it's like salary workers are not being paid overtime is a big thing. I continue on. There's more work to do. Democrats will like uh, work to pass the Paycheck Fairness Act and end paying qu- inequity, not just in like federal workplaces, but throughout the economy, with pennies for companies that discriminate against women, and will generate affordable, like uh, high quality childcare from birth until kindergarten, with the most families paying just like ten dollars a day, and make it a free and make it free for low income families. I mean, I wish they could go further, and make it free for everyone, but like well, uh, baby steps, I guess. Continue on. We will. We will protect the like health and dignity of older adults and people with disabilities by improving long term like care and support their family and caregivers. We will invest in care infrastructure by like raising wages and the quality of care workers jobs. Uh, we will establish a national comprehensive paid family and medical leave program to ensure that uh, like all workers, including uh, women, can take the time that they need to like bound to bond with a new child, uh, care for uh, the loved ones, or recover from the illness. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, having that kind of concept has to be done, uh, not just like for um, post-mortem as well too, for, um, not, I mean, for postnatal uh, child care, for a third child's form, but for other things in other situations come up, uh, illness or like um, helping a uh, family member as well too. Or even a good friend that you would love to care for them as well. As uh, some people do, just like get sick and it's like nice to be able to like do something about that. But uh, yeah, I'm just noticing the Discord notification. It's like okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, 
continue on. Um, we are also uh, closing fundamental gaps in like women's uh, health uh, care and addressing the maternal like uh, health crisis. Women in America are dying at like higher rates for like uh, pregnancy related causes than women in any other wealthy nation especially a black and native women. Vice President Harris has come into office as a key leader on the maternal health and like uh, continues to lead the fight for like improved uh, marital health outcome, elevating the issue nationally and convening like experts and activists to find solutions. The American Rescue Plan and gave like states the option to provide a full year of post mortem as a word I was looking for. A post no postpartum. Postmortem is something else entirely. Postpartum. Okay. Hey, continue on. Uh, they provide a full year of postpartum uh, coverage to like women in on Medicaid, increasing it from like sixty days, uh, from from just sixty days. Well, it's just sixty days. Well, it's on Medicaid, so like that program is like really need to be like fully endorsed and fully like robust as well too. Continue on. Uh, Vice President Harris challenged all states to provide full a full year year of coverage in forty six states in the District of Columbia. And the U.S. Virgin Islands now uh, do. I see. So, like, from, uh, so if Kamala Harris uh, courage and challenges I say to provide that, in 46 states, the district come out and the U.S. Virgin Islands do not do too. Guam, get your act together. I'm good. I'm joking. I'm sure, Guam says a lot of issues that a lot of can say about the Democrats or like the uh, political parties as it is. Anyway, continue on. The administration also expanded the access to maternal care coordinators for U.S. military veterans um, for eight weeks to 12 months postpartum. And it established the first ever national mental health uh, and safety standards for like hospitals across the country, which includes the uh, requirements that hospitals have. We were in re rescuation re uh, equipment in like labor and delivery rooms and provide protocols and supplies for um, emergency uh, deliveries. I, d I don't know what that word is. I'm not going to like uh, um, spend time to try to look at that word. I'll probably try to look at the word uh, later to know how it's pronounced. I'll just look it up later. Continue on. The administration released a blueprint uh, outlining for other federal actions to combat maternity. Um, maternal mortality and improve uh, maternal health and it launched the national maternal like mental health hotline which uh, helps tens of thousands of women uh, for too long women haven't been able to like get the answers they'll need when it comes to like their health uh, from cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular disease to autoimmune diseases to like menopause related conditions um, to pioneer the next generation of medical discoveries, the president and the first lady launched the first ever White House initiative on women's like health research, which aims to like fundamentally change how we approach the and fund a women's health and research in the United States. It's including one million commitment to fund the ARPA slash H a sprint for like women's health. I forgot that this acronym was mentioned before in the document. I don't know where it's members now, so I'm just going to move on. A 200 million uh, National Institute of Healthwide efforts to catalyze uh, internal discipline research and more than like uh, 20 new actions and commitments to like, advance women's health research and establish this research on menopause related conditions for women's midlife health. Uh, and President Biden signed an executive order to like direct the most comprehensive like set of executive actions ever taken to expand and improve like a research on women's health. Democrats will continue to work to address the maternal, uh, the maternal health crisis, and ensure every American has access to high quality, cultural, comp uh, competent, and care before, during, and after pregnancy. And we will continue to invest in like women's like health research to galvanize new research and breakthroughs on a wide range of topics. Trump will reverse our progress, and he will appeal to Affordable Care Act if he can. He tried to, but uh, like, let's see. Yeah, he will try to as well, too, again, if he's in office, but, like, he tried to, like, last time, and it didn't work. But anyway, and as I was saying, um, he will repeal the Fort Bocara, putting coverage of, like, um, prenatal, pregnancy, and postpartum, postpartum, like, care at risk. And, and he has, like, a tax Medicaid, which, like, uh, covers 65% of births to uh, black women and 58% of, like, uh, Latino mothers.